In the awesome unfolding of the modern universe, people have long analyzed whether or not we're remote from each other. We've gazed at the stars, reviewed the vast structures of galaxies, and embarked on a mission to discover the potential for life beyond our tiny blue planet. That potential has at last come to fruition. Recently, NASA's chief scientist revealed that the James Webb Space Telescope, our window to the universe, has determined something super. Brace yourself, for on the rims of our boundless time, an incredible mystery has been exposed. Life has been detected on a world referred to as Proxima b, and it changes everything. The research of the atmospheres of exoplanets that pass in front of their stars obliges us as we uncover the mysteries exposed by the James Webb Telescope and what the discovery of life on Proxima b could mean for the future of space exploration and all humankind. The James Webb Space Telescope is a marvel that promises to transform our understanding of the universe. The telescope's advanced technology, combined with its unique position in space, gives scientists an unparalleled perspective on the cosmos and allows them to focus on distant galactic structures, planets, and stars in a way that was never possible before. Now, this might sound like a lot of empty claims, but it's actually got the tech to make all of that real. One of JWST's most significant capabilities is its primary mirror, which measures 6.5 meters in diameter. This is more than twice the size of the primary mirror on the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been one of the most critical tools for space exploration over the last few decades. With such a large mirror, JWST can capture the faintest glimmers of light from the farthest reaches of the universe, elements that the world of science hasn't always been able to see. Scientists have long speculated about what lies beyond the limits of a conventional telescope, but with this one, they can finally see the real detail they've been dreaming about all this time. It's not just its massive mirror. The JWST is equipped with a suite of cutting-edge instruments capable of detecting a vast range of light frequencies. The Near-Infrared Camera, NIR Cam, as it's commonly called, is a powerful tool designed to capture images in the near-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Why is that important? Well, near-infrared light can penetrate dust clouds that block visible light, allowing us to see deeper into the vast depths of space. NERCOM's high-resolution imaging abilities provide astronomers with an extraordinary view to examine the formation of stars and galaxies. This unique instrument's primary targets include focusing on the early universe and its first light, analyzing the structure and evolution of galaxies, and identifying and characterizing exoplanets. The detailed images captured by NIRCAM reveal hidden nuances and structures that were previously inaccessible to telescopes. It helps us understand how large structures form and evolve over time and provides insights into the mysterious processes that shape our cosmic neighborhood and beyond. But that's just one tool. There's also the Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIR Spec, which takes the analysis of stars and galactic systems to an incredible level by breaking down the light emitted by celestial objects into its component colors or wavelengths. This process, called spectroscopy, provides fundamental information about the chemical composition, temperature, and movement of these objects, helping astronomers analyze the complex details of stars and galaxies. It gives scientists precise insights into everything it examines. Studying the absorption and emission lines in the spectra allows researchers to identify the elements present in a star or gas cloud, revealing the building blocks of our universe. This information helps us understand the life cycles of stars, the formation of galaxies, and the intricate interactions between these celestial bodies. On top of that, NIR spec also plays a crucial role in studying distant high redshift galaxies. These galaxies emit light that has traveled billions of years to reach us, providing a glimpse into the origins of the universe. Examining their spectra helps astronomers understand their chemical composition, age, and other characteristics shedding light on the universal evolution of galaxies throughout cosmic history. Regarding the mid-infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum, the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, on the JWST has been specifically designed to examine objects emitting infrared radiation at longer wavelengths. This capability allows us to explore various phenomena, from the formation of stars to the detection of exoplanet atmospheres. One of MIRI's primary goals is to study the dust clouds where stars are born. Infrared radiation can penetrate these dense dust clouds, allowing MIRI to see through the cosmic fog 
and witness the birth of stars and planetary systems. It captures detailed images and spectra in the mid-infrared, providing astronomers with critical insights into the processes occurring within these stellar nurseries. But that's not all. MIRI also plays a significant role in the search for and characterization of exoplanets. It does so by observing in the mid-infrared, as this allows MIRI to detect and analyze the faint thermal emissions of exoplanet atmospheres. This capability opens up opportunities for studying the composition, temperature, and characteristics of exoplanets, including their potential habitability. MIRI's observations help us determine the presence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other key molecules that could indicate the conditions necessary for life. These are just the components that could support life. How does the James Webb Telescope search for signs of something going on below the surface? Two of the primary techniques it employs are spectroscopy and transit observation. At the heart of this effort lies spectroscopy, a method that allows scientists to examine the light emitted or absorbed by an object to determine its composition. In the context of exoplanets, Spectroscopy helps us decode the molecular secrets hidden within their atmospheres. When the JWST sets its sights on an exoplanet, it eagerly awaits a transit event, a remarkable scene where the exoplanet passes in front of its host star from our point of view. As this happens, the JWST essentially observes the starlight filtering through the exoplanet's atmosphere during the transit. Equipped with its advanced instruments, the JWST captures this crucial light. NIR spec excels in the near infrared range, while MIRI takes charge in the mid infrared domain. Together, they form a dynamic duo, covering a wide spectrum of wavelengths essential for in depth analysis. You might be wondering what's the big deal about capturing starlight during a transit. Well, this starlight contains crucial information about the exoplanet's atmospheric composition. As the light passes through the exoplanet's atmosphere, it interacts with various molecules present leaving distinct fingerprints, or molecular imprints, on the starlight. The JWST then meticulously analyzes the filtered light using its spectroscopic capabilities. Scientists can identify specific molecules present in the exoplanet's atmosphere by analyzing the absorption or emission lines in the light spectrum. Each molecule has its unique set of spectral features, so all of them have their own identities. They just need to be pinned down and cataloged to bring the whole story coherently together. To obtain accurate results, the JWST conducts extensive modeling and analysis. It relies on sophisticated simulations and reference spectra of known molecules to match the observed spectral features with their corresponding molecular identities. Think of it like cross-referencing a celestial dictionary to decipher the exoplanet's atmospheric language. Identifying the presence of specific molecules is merely the beginning. The search for signs of life requires a more nuanced approach. Scientists look for molecules considered biomarkers, substances that could be associated with life. These biomarkers could include gases like oxygen, methane, and water vapor, elements vital for supporting life on Earth. However, more insights and data are needed to assess the overall habitability and potential signs of biological activity. To enhance the search for life, the JWST also complements its spectroscopic capabilities with other observational techniques. Within the great expanse of the universe, people have long questioned whether we're alone. We've gazed at the stars, examined remote galaxies, and set off on a quest to discover the potential for life beyond our tiny blue planet. That potential has finally been realized. NASA's boss recently revealed that the James Webb Space Telescope, our window to the universe, has found something exceptional. Brace yourself, for on the edges of our boundless time, an impossible mystery has been uncovered. Life has been perceived on a world called Proxima B, and it changes everything. The investigation of the atmospheres of exoplanets that pass before their star obliges us as we uncover the secrets exposed by the James Webb Telescope and what the revelation of life on Proxima B could mean for the possible future of space exploration and all humankind. The James Webb Space Telescope is a scientific marvel that promises to change how we interpret the universe. The telescope's refined development, coupled with its unique role in space, gives researchers a remarkable angle on the universe and allows them to focus on distant cosmic systems, planets, and stars in a way that has never been feasible before. Now, this seems like a lot of empty claims, 
but it's actually got the tech to make all of that real. One of JWST's most super parts is its primary mirror, which measures 6.5 meters in diameter. This is more than twice the length of the primary mirror on the Hubble Space Telescope, which has been possibly one of the most substantial tools for space exploration in recent years. With such a big mirror, the JWST can capture the smallest glimmers of light from the most distant parts of the universe, elements that the world of science hasn't always had the capability to see. Researchers have long speculated about what lies beyond the bounds of a traditional telescope, but with this one, they can finally see the real detail they've been dreaming about all this time. Not just its big mirror, the JWST is ready with an array of cutting-edge instruments which might be capable of detecting a wide variety of frequencies of light. The Near-Infrared Camera NIR Cam, as it's usually known, is an invaluable resource designed to capture photographs in the near-infrared range of the electromagnetic spectrum. Why is that vital? Well, near-infrared light can penetrate dust clouds that block visible light, allowing us to see further into the limitless depths of space. NERCOM's high-resolution imaging skills provide astronomers with an unparalleled view to examine the development of stars and galaxies. This precise instrument's primary targets consist of focusing on the early universe and its first light, analyzing the formation and evolution of galaxies, and identifying and characterizing exoplanets. The detailed snapshots captured with the aid of NIR CAM reveal hidden subtleties and structures that were formerly inaccessible to telescopes. It enables us to recognize how massive systems shape and evolve over time and gives insights into the mysterious processes that form our vast region and beyond. But that's just one device. There is also the Near Infrared Spectrograph, NIR Spec, which takes the evaluation of stars and galactic systems to an outstanding level by separating the mild emitted by celestial items into its element colors or frequencies. This procedure, known as spectroscopy, affords vital records about the chemical composition, temperature, and formation of these items, enhancing astronomers' capability to discover the intricate workings of stars and systems. It offers researchers detailed insights into everything it examines. Analyzing the absorption and emission strains in the spectra allows scientists to determine the elements found in a star or gas cloud, revealing the building blocks of our universe. This information enables us to understand the life cycles of stars, the formation of galaxies, and the complex interactions among these celestial components. Additionally, the near-infrared spectrograph also performs a key position in the study of distant high-redshift galaxies. These galaxies emit mild that has traveled billions of years to attain us, supplying a glimpse into the origins of the universe. Analyzing their spectra helps space scientists begin to understand their chemical composition, age, and other characteristics, providing insights into the overall evolution of galaxies over cosmic history. Regarding reading the mid-infrared location of the electromagnetic spectrum, the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, on the JWST has been specifically designed to take a look at objects emitting infrared radiation at longer wavelengths. This capability allows us to explore various phenomena, from the formation of stars to the detection of exoplanet atmospheres. One of MIRI's primary goals is to study the dusty areas where stars are born. Infrared radiation can penetrate these dense dust clouds, permitting MIRI to peer through the cosmic fog and witness the birth of stars and planetary structures. It captures specified photos and spectra within the mid-infrared range, offering astronomers critical insights into the strategies occurring within these stellar nurseries. However, this is not all. MIRI also plays a giant role in the search for and characterization of exoplanets. It does so by using looking at the mid-infrared, as this lets MIRI discover and analyze the faint thermal emissions of exoplanet atmospheres. This capability opens up opportunities for studying the composition, temperature, and characteristics of exoplanets, such as their potential habitability. MIRI's observations assist us in determining the presence of water vapor, carbon dioxide, and other key molecules that could imply the conditions necessary for existence. As far as we are concerned, those are just the components that could assist life. How does the James Webb Telescope search for signs of something going on below the surface? Two of the primary techniques it uses are spectroscopy and transit observations. At the heart of this effort lies spectroscopy, a technique that allows scientists to study the light emitted or absorbed by an object to determine its composition. 
In the context of exoplanets, spectroscopy facilitates us in decoding the molecular secrets hidden within their atmospheres. When the JWST sets its sights on an exoplanet, it eagerly awaits a transit event, a remarkable scene where the exoplanet passes in front of its host star from our point of view. As this happens, the JWST essentially observes the starlight filtering through the exoplanet's atmosphere during the transit. Equipped with its advanced instruments, the JWST captures this crucial light. NIR spec excels in the near-infrared range, while MIRI takes charge in the mid-infrared domain. Together, they form a dynamic duo, covering a wide spectrum of wavelengths essential for in-depth analysis. You might be wondering what's the big deal about capturing starlight during a transit. Well, this starlight contains crucial information about the exoplanet's atmospheric composition. As the light passes through the exoplanet's atmosphere, it interacts with various molecules present, leaving distinct fingerprints, or molecular imprints, on the starlight. The JWST then meticulously analyzes the filtered light using its spectroscopic capabilities. Scientists can identify specific molecules present in the exoplanet's atmosphere by analyzing the absorption or emission lines in the light spectrum. Each molecule has its unique set of spectral features, so all of them have their identities. They just need to be pinned down and cataloged to bring the whole story coherently together. To obtain accurate results, the JWST conducts extensive modeling and analysis. It relies on sophisticated simulations and reference spectra of known molecules to match the observed spectral features with their corresponding molecular identities. Think of it like cross-referencing a celestial dictionary to decipher the exoplanet's atmospheric language. Identifying the presence of specific molecules is merely the beginning. The search for signs of life requires a more nuanced approach. Scientists look for molecules considered biomarkers, substances that could be associated with life. These biomarkers could include gases like oxygen, methane, and water vapor, elements vital for supporting life on Earth. However, more insights and data are needed to assess the overall habitability and potential signs of biological activity. To enhance the search for life, the JWST also complements its spectroscopic capabilities with other observational techniques.